Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've had a break the last few weeks, but I am back because I woke up this morning and Marvel had dropped a new trailer for Thor, Love and Thunder. If you're anything like me, you've been waiting for this one for a while. It's just a teaser trailer, but it's already got 12 million views after being up for what? Not, not long. It hasn't been up for long. It's classic Marvel. They're smashing it. So I thought, I've got to do a reaction. So that's what we're doing today. Let's check it out. Full screen, because, you know, got to be full screen. And let's go three, two, one. These hands were once used for battle. Now they're but humble tools for peace. Thor has become such a... I need to figure out... Soft soul. Exactly. Who I'm already loving the music choice. Ah, uh, sweet child of mine. Amazing. All right, getting fit again. I want to choose my own path. <laughs> Guardians. Amazing. My superhero days are over. Oh wow, art direction is looks amazing. All right. There's a lot happening. What I told you. You ever feel lost? Oh Just no. Look into the eyes of the people that you love. Lots of guardians of the galaxy <laughs> in this thing. <laughs> That's hilarious. What? Just listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Who is wielding that? Ha! All right, they showed her. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, that was the teaser trailer for Thor, Love and Thunder. Very short, definitely a teaser. They did a lot of quick cuts. So like you saw a lot, but also didn't see a lot. Standouts for me. Art direction looked phenomenal. All those locations, I cannot wait to see them fully realized on the big screen. I mean, kind of cheating using Guns N' Roses' Sweet Child of Mine. That's just a classic song and it fit really well with that kind of like 80s vibe just in terms of like, you know, the font and the art direction that they've kind of been going with. Lots of Guardians of the Galaxy. That'll be fun. Chris Hemsworth looks hilarious as ever. He's really found his niche for the Thor character, especially since Ragnarok, the third Thor movie. I think he and Taika Waititi really decided, hey, you're going to be like this serious character, but also like very funny. And they're really leaning into that more, especially that scene where... <laughs> Chris Pat was talking about looking into the eyes of those you love and he's just walking, moving across the screen. That was very funny. And the only thing I did really know about this is that apparently Natalie Portman was coming back as Lady Thor, I think the character's called, and they showed her off there at the end wielding Mjolnir. So that's obviously the big draw card, I think, of this movie. People really want to see a new female superhero. I think it's really cool. Always like Natalie Portman. I had a funny conversation with someone recently about how her acting was in the Star Wars prequels, but... <laughs> That's another video for another time. But as a teaser trailer, that really wet the palette. I'm really keen to see more from that. As always, I'm curious to know what you guys thought. Let me know in the comments below. I've appreciated the comments that have come in the last few weeks on some of my reaction videos and my guitar unboxing video. So cheers for that. Keen to start pumping content out more regularly now. I've had a bit of a break. If you can't tell, my nose is super red. I had like 12 hours of consistent hay fever yesterday. So that was super fun. Yeah, it wasn't. But yeah, hoping to get back into the swing of things. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.